I go about it, I'm up. My wife loves my vasectomy probably much as much as I do. I just end up talking about it more, and I haven't been shy about it until now, because gosh, there's a lot of you out there <laughs> here listening to me talk about my junk. <laughs> if it's in your heart to bring more children into the world, this talk probably isn't for you. But when my then girlfriend, now, wa now wife, had the talk, I quickly made an appointment with a VA urologist. He did a quick exam, asked surprisingly few personal questions. I guess he just supports a man's right to choose. <laughs> and 10 years in, I've yet to change my mind. I was nervous until he asked how many snips he performed, and Dr. Peterson said he lost count after the first thousand. The next week, after some local anesthetic, Doc Peterson made a centimeter incision along my scrotum. He snipped and tied off my vas deferens, put a pad of gauze on the little red cut, and I drove home. The next day, I went back to work, and for the next 72 hours, frozen peas were my BFFs. About 30 rounds of target practice, two emissions tests, and a mere four weeks later, I was happily failing with flying colors. Did it hurt? Not really. The worst part was that uh, it was a mild and dull ache in the jewels, like when you find out the capital of Thailand. And for me, that only lasted about 14 hours. The procedure runs about $2,000 without insurance, so the equivalent of two years worth of diapers. You should contact Bridger Care for your own vasectomy. It makes a perfect Valentine's Day present. It's the gift that comes with no surprises. <laughs> These days we have different family goals. The Bozeman dream is having a walk-up condo with distressed steel accents. A Subaru with a chocolate lab named Bridger in the passenger seat. And taking a kid named Sam to a Montessori school. And plus that underutilized Bridger Pass or going to the ridge. People are having fewer kids already, and we seem to be having smaller families without anyone telling us to. You don't need kids to pass on the family name when Facebook is full of Aaron Swins and Zwickers. <laughs> Dad probably doesn't need you to take over the family farm, and you don't need six kids to help you run it. A potential kid could be extraordinary or cure cancer. But that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody that could have a hard time cleaning their room. And what's more likely is they'll struggle with underemployment or recreational drug use. And I sure wouldn't want me as a 17-year-old. <laughs> According to the USDA, that $50 copay to the VA to socialize medicine saved us at least $233,000. And with that, you could get 10 Subaru Cross Treks, 190 chocolate lab or doodle variations, 145 mountain bike fat tires, fat tire mountain bikes, or a single ski past the big sky. <laughs> so now that I've painted myself as the most selfish person ever, there was a time I thought about raising a kid to teach skiing, first aid, astronomy, how to build a fire. And kids are fun, but I realized I don't need to make a baby to have those enriching experiences. We want to use our child-free life to be a good aunt and uncle, to serve our community, and be as much of a positive influence on others as we can. We love watching our friends and neighbors' kids grow up. My wife routinely goes on girl dates with our fake niece to Ulta and the Hot Springs. I've gotten to teach first aid to scout groups, and I've showed kids how to use a magnifying glass to set tur horse turds on fire. I'm a responsible dad. And uh, we've discovered that we don't need to save, to have our own kids to, to give fulfilling and enriching experiences to the youth around us. Kids are fun, but I think most people don't really want to be parents. They want to be grandparents. <laughs> and you can do what I do. Just borrow your friends' kids, because parents love free babysitting, and also Thrive is always looking for cat mentors. <laughs> if you want to be a good aunt and uncle, be sure and give lots of large gifts that make lots of noise. Parents love toy drum sets. And of course, anything that needs batteries. But seriously, it's about quality time. Learn how to play Pokemon and Fortnite, or Minecraft. Tell stories, let them win at games, 
and just do fun stuff they like to do. I got snipped for my wife. For some reason, women bear most of the, res the, the responsibility for controlling birth. But fellas, be a good partner and share that burden together. It's 99.7% effective, and I think it's the funnest form of birth control there is. <laughs> the alternative is reprogramming your hormones with the pill or stabbing a piece of plastic up your up the baby maker. I got snipped for the rest of the world. I thought a world of 8 billion people doesn't need another person, even one as awesome that would come from my loins. <laughs> and no matter how green I am, a child just doubles my impact on the planet. Just because you don't have to have, just because you don't have your own kids doesn't mean you can't form an extended family with those around you. You can believe in their awesomeness, hang up their mini masterpieces on your fridge, and no one should, no one should feel obligated to find out if they'd make a good parent, but be a great one if you do have kids. I respect anyone's decision that fits their goal <laughs> and desire for a great future. Guys, don't let anyone scare you about a vasectomy when mine was so easy. And ladies, don't let your psycho mom convince you to get knocked up so she can fulfill her granny dream. <laughs> you can make these be the only buns that come out of your oven. <laughs> Guys, share that responsibility for family planning, get your bass occluded, and happy failing. <laughs>